20-year-old female hit by a plow truck. In the same classroom where younger Joel Barnes learned how to be a paramedic, these first-year students are working on trauma scenarios. The make-believe victim hit by a plow truck. The students rally. Looks Michael Gould is 22 years old. He's already living and working in the Falmouth Fire Department. These students are thinking about Joel Barnes today, even though they didn't even know him. Although it's sad what happened to him, it's inspirational that he went out kind of as a hero and he did what he, he was doing, what he loved, and he made a difference. Eric Wellman is the chairman of the Emergency Medical Services Program at SMCC. Joel Barnes was his student from 2005 to 2010. Kind of quiet and everything, but when he did a scenario and stuff, he was able to, it was like a different person. He was, you know, very passionate and um, active. Wellman says he saw Barnes last fall. He was enrolled in another course so he could eventually teach CPR. Joel is actually the first paramedic graduate of our program to die in the line of duty, and, um, and especially how he died and what he was doing when he died is, you know, it's tragic, but it's also just kind of depicts Joel that he would stand um, and protect someone from, you know, their death. It just says loads about him. Elizabeth Williams never knew Joel Barnes, but she knows what his death means to the brother and sisterhood of the firefighting community. Any first responder that answers a call and goes out, you know, anything can happen at any moment. And I just think it's, you know, when somebody gives a sacrifice for us to be able to honor him and show him, show his family and friends how much his sacrifice means to us is it's vital. Every student we spoke with said the same thing. This is in their blood. It's a calling. They want to help people, just like Joel Barnes did. In South Portland, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.